Well, good morning and welcome back to the shop. Today we are working on our Colchester lathe. More specifically, we're working on the electric motor inside of the lathe. What I'd like to do today is remove the motor, put it on the bench, crack it open, and hopefully be able to replace the motor bearings inside of it. I'm guessing they haven't been done. This is quite an old machine with quite a bit of time on it. And I've done lots of other maintenance, but I know nothing about the condition of the motor. So let's get into it. Let's uh, see how easily it gives it up. I think it gets a little hard to tell exactly what's going on here, but basically right now I'm struggling. I am struggling to get that right rear bolt off of the motor plate. So what I'm about to do is something that you shouldn't do if you're at home following along with your Colchester Triumph. Do not remove this pivot bar. If you do it, your life will be as bad as mine was once I did it. I, I just, it was a, a lapse in judgment, let's just say that. Uh, all of the space closed up and I had to kind of use wood to keep it in place and it made it a much less safe place to put my hands. So uh, don't do it. You've been warned. Find another way, but both ways you're going to be struggling. <coughs> This thing is grody.
I don't know about you, but I totally geek over these plates. They don't make them like they used to. Modern day machinery, it seems like they're just stickers and the ink, once it touches any kind of solvent, is immediately gone. This is a hand engraved plate. How cool is that? So because this motor was so jam-packed with schmoo, I was debating on exactly how to clean it up and exactly how far to go. I settled on not putting the motor into the wash tank completely assembled to clean off. I think that would have been the most rewarding way to do it, but uh, a local motor shop said, better safe than sorry, don't do it. Just clean out the fins on the body of the motors so the fan can pass air across them to keep it cool. So I'm just cleaning out the end bells and all the other pieces that are kind of easy to clean up in the wash tank, and that's as far as I'm going to go with it. Well, if it's not painfully obvious yet, I have been instructed to distract the viewer for a moment while we get through these scenes that don't have any audio. So bear with me on that. So we're removing the snap ring. You can tell that that is not my first attempt removing that snap ring. I uh, went and got a better fitting pair of pliers, so I didn't rearrange my face. And uh, pulling these bearings off the rotor went pretty smoothly, um, even though I'm using the red press. <laughs> and if you don't know, the most hated tool in my entire shop is the red press. It's always the wrong tool for the job, even when it's a press you're looking for. But I will say it did a pretty good job on these bearings. Notably, I am only pushing these bearings onto the rotor by the inner races. You don't ever want to push a bearing uh, beyond that, but uh, you guys already know that. Slipping the snap ring back on, piece of cake, definitely wincing, also wincing here. Wrote a little note to the next guy or girl. Uh, hope you enjoyed removing the right rear mounting bolts. Uh, I didn't. I'm gonna pack it into the same cover, which I know they're gonna remove when they try to free up a bit more space, just like I did. Here we are slipping the rotor into the end bell, and it uh, made a beautiful ka-chunk there. I wish you could have heard it. It was uh, fantastic. Oh, and we're back.
Okay, we're all wrapped up. We replaced the bearings in the motor, put it all back together. Thanks for coming along for the ride. I love doing maintenance and it was fun to take the camera along. Look at this, look at this. Look at this. Nicely wrapped for the next guy. That is so awesome. Insulation and maintenance of three phase AC cage induction motors. This is a book made for me. It was quality checked and it was uh, just okay. <laughs> I'm doing all his hard work. Probably. He's like, but I checked it and it's okay. 